fossils. You've probably seen fossils before, maybe in a museum or a classroom, but what exactly is a fossil? Fossils are the preserved remains of ancient organisms. And as a reminder, an organism is just a fancy name for any living thing or something that was once alive. Do you know what remains are? Remains are parts or traces of an organism's body left over after the organism dies, like a bone or a body or a trunk. Fossils are not actual remains. They're remains that have changed into rock. And fossils are old. Generally speaking, fossils are at least 10,000 years old. The oldest known fossils are over 3 billion years old. Now, most remains don't turn into rock. Most remains decompose. But when conditions are just right, the remains of dead animals and plants and other living things can fossilize. Since conditions have to be just right for fossils to form, fossils are pretty rare. The word fossil comes from the Latin term fossus, which means having been dug up. When we think of fossils, we usually think of dinosaur bones or the remains of fairly large animals. But plants can be fossilized too. And the most common fossils on Earth aren't big at all. Microfossils are fossils that are so small that you have to use a microscope to see them. Scientists look at microfossils such as fossilized pollen to learn about climate, geology, and ecosystems from long ago. Microfossils can be beautiful. Geologists, oceanographers, and other scientists study fossilized organisms called foraminifera and diatoms to learn more about the environments in which rock was formed. Aren't diatoms pretty? Teeny tiny fossils that need to be seen with a microscope are called microfossils, but fossils that you can see without a microscope are called macrofossils. Fossilization is the process that turns remains into fossils. There are a few different ways remains can turn into fossils, but the most common process is called petrification. And here's how that works First, an organism dies. Then the remains of the organism are covered by sand, silt, mud, lava, or tar. Minerals in the sediment and water seep into the remains and turn them into rock. Petrification is the most common process of fossilization, but there are other processes too. Dead organisms can freeze or dry out, turning into fossils. Sticky substances can encase remains. If you've ever seen Jurassic Park, you might remember the mosquitoes that were caught in amber. Heat and pressure occasionally can cause the remains of dead organisms to leave behind a residue of carbon, a carbon imprint. Fossils also form from molds and casts. If an organism completely dissolves in sedimentary rock, it can leave an impression of its exterior in rock called an external mold. If that mold gets filled with other materials, it becomes a cast. Body fossils are fossilized parts of dead organisms, like teeth, or bones, or trunks, or leaves. Trace fossils are imprints left behind by organisms, things like tracks, burrows, and tunnels. So fossils are super interesting. All kinds of scientists use fossils to learn about the past. Paleontologists are scientists who study the history of living things on Earth based on fossils. Sounds like a pretty cool job, huh? Fossils are pretty amazing.